Streak Through the Sky, The Amazing Stories of Cam, written by Kevin Waring. Meet Cameron. Everyone calls him Cam. One day, Cam sat in his yard with a pile of books in front of him so high that he couldn't see past them. You see, Cam wasn't like his friends from school, but his dad taught him that was okay to be this way, so he had no problem with being to himself and focusing on what interested him. This week, he was interested in spaceships. His father told him stories about the Apollo mission to the moon, and he always loved jets. So, he couldn't help but wonder what it would take for him to reach the moon. While reading, his friends from school were passing by. They said, Hey Cam, what are you doing? We're going to the park. Want to come with us? Cam said, No thanks. I'm trying to figure out how to build my spaceship. They all busted out laughing, grabbing their bellies, howling and crying tears. Cam kept right along reading. The next day, Cam sat with a pile of scrap metal in front of him, so high he couldn't see past it. His friends were walking by and said, Hey Cam, what are you doing? We are going to the fair. Want to come with us? Cam said, No thanks, I'm building the shell of my spaceship. They all busted out laughing, grabbing their bellies, howling and crying tears. Cam kept right along building. The next day, Cam sat with a pile of wires and computer chips, so high he couldn't see past it. He found the wires and computer chips in his dad's garage. His friends were walking by and said, Hey Cam, what are you doing? We're going to the movies. Want to come with us? Cam said, No thank you, I'm wiring the ship so that the anti-gravity and communication systems work. They all busted out laughing, grabbing their bellies, howling and crying tears. Cam kept right along working. The next day, Cam sat with buckets of compounds made from natural elements found in and around his house, so high he couldn't see past it. His friends were walking by and said, Hey Cam, what are you doing? We're going roller skating. Want to come with us? He said, No thanks, I'm finishing up these compounds for combustion so I can launch tomorrow. They all busted out laughing, grabbing their bellies, howling and crying tears. Cam kept right along mixing his compounds. Cam was so excited that night that he slept in the authentic SpaceX spacesuit his father gave him. Being that his father worked for SpaceX, it was specially fitted for him. He knew that tomorrow would be a marvelous day. The next day, Cam came out the house in his spacesuit, excited and ready for the adventure ahead of him. His friends were walking by and looked at him weirdly but ignored the fact that he had on a spacesuit and asked, Hey Cam, we're going to the beach. Want to come with us? Cam said while checking his spacesuit, No thanks, I'm due to launch in T-20 minus minutes. Maybe when I get back. Get back from where? they asked. From space, Cam said with the biggest smile on his face. <laughs> they all busted out laughing, grabbing their bellies, howling and crying tears. <laughs> the time came for Cam to launch. He pulled the cover off his ship, did one last check, got in and shut the door. He powered the spaceship on, checked his gauges, and started countdown. Launch in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
blast off! And Cam's spaceship took off into the sky. His friends were all at the beach playing catch when all of a sudden they saw something streaking through the sky. They hadn't believed Cam could actually do it, so they didn't want to just assume it was him. But the letters on the side spelling out K-A-M was something they couldn't overlook. They were no longer laughing, but staring up with their mouths open in amazement as Cam entered into orbit. It was truly a marvelous day. The end. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please subscribe and come back again.